Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, April 20th, 2012. Our top story is from the field of physics. A team of German researchers managed to exploit quantum entanglement to generate the first long-distance quantum link. In quantum mechanics, the state of a particle is modified by the act of observing, because you have to shine a photon packet on the particle to localize it and measure it. So, you cannot get information without affecting the particle. Let us consider two nearby particles which share the same state. If these particles are then separated, they will remain linked, so their properties will still depend on each other. The field of research here presented is of interest because, in theory, through quantum entanglement, it would be possible to unequivocally detect the presence of an eavesdropper when sending an encrypted message. Let's say we want to send a message from A to C through B. If A, B, and C are entangled and somebody wants to spy on the message at B, A and C will instantaneously change state. The paper we are presenting managed to entangle two atoms at A and B without the two atoms ever coming into physical contact. The experiment consisted of two nodes, or lab rooms, 60 meters apart. In between the mirrors, on both rooms, there was atom A and B. Shining a laser on atom A caused it to emit another photon. The photon then traveled through an optical fiber into the other lab room, where atom B, located in the optical cavity, absorbed it. The two atoms were entangled at a distance. This process could, in the future, be extended to a third node, and eventually a network could be created. And from the world of chemistry, a team at George Washington University has developed a method of producing cement without producing carbon dioxide as a byproduct. Cement requires the production of lime from limestone in a process called decarbonation, which is generally powered by fossil fuels. Limestone, chemical formula calcium carbonate, is heated in a kiln until it decomposes into lime, chemical formula calcium oxide. Obviously, the other product of this reaction and the fuel burned to produce it is carbon dioxide. 9 kilograms for every 10 of cement produced. This is where solar thermal electrochemical production, or STEP, comes in. Firstly, replacing a fossil-fueled kiln with concentrated solar energy and also using that energy to assist electrolysis. Energy goes to generating an electric current altering the byproducts of the reaction. Depending on the temperature, the CO2 either becomes carbon monoxide and oxygen or just regular carbon and oxygen. Unlike many environment-saving measures, this method of producing lime for cement may actually be cheaper than current production. This is because the carbon monoxide is actually quite valuable and could be sold to various industries. The question now is how to scale up this method. One possibility is using thermosolar stations already built. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.